How are you guys doing? Today is Sunday, February 20th, 2022. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an elite individual profile on Ciro Immobile. The elite Italian starting striker for Lazio turns 32 today, and my intention with this episode is, of course, to zoom in and examine his impact on a game-to-game, season-to-season level while playing for Lazio and while playing for the Italian national team. And, of course, I'm going to zoom out and look at how his game is impacted Italian soccer on a macro level, considering that this is a player that has finished with the most goals in Europe for an entire season in his career. Um, even depending on where he's playing, that's one of the mo- that's probably one of the toughest feats that I think is capable of being accomplished in any sport, especially playing in the same era as Robert Lewandowski, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi. The fact that he was able to do so, not to mention that he was also able to help Italy win a continental trophy as well. I do think that his impact definitely gets overlooked when we talk about a lot of the best players in soccer. This is a worldwide game where you have hundreds of thousands of people that are competing for a finite amount of spots. And to, of course, be one of the best strikers in Italy and be recognized as the Italian national striker while playing at the best of your ability, I don't think is uh, is a consolation prize at all. If you're unfamiliar with Ciro Immobile, he stands at about six foot one. He is the striker for uh, Lazio. I would just describe it as... He knows he, he has he has a lot of pressure, especially up in the front, but I do think that he handles his pressure incredibly well. I don't think that he treats any moments any differently, whether it's whether it's wide open, whether it's practice, whether it's in a game against four different people. I do think I do think that once he's completely focused and he's completely zoned in, there's very few things that can get between him and scoring the goals that he wants. This is one of the few players that you can really describe as a player that really scores at will. So just to get into his background, he's originally from Torre Annunziata in Italy. Uh, he would find himself moving around a bunch of lot uh, 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 around a couple of youth programs. He would eventually get called up as a teenager. He would eventually be uh, a member of the Juventus youth program. Uh, he would officially get called up for the squad in his age 18 season in 2008, 2009. Of course, uh, in that season, he would go on to only play one one game in a season in which Juventus would uh, eventually go on and finish second in Serie A um, after they hadn't won as a team since 2005 because of, of course, the uh, the Juventus scandal that happened in 2006 where they got demoted to Serie B. Um, it, he would go on to play a couple games in his second season in 2019 or in 2009-2010 in his age 19 season. Uh, he would only play three games in his first couple of seasons with Juventus, which, is, of course, uh, makes sense, being one of the best young Italian players, but, of course, having to deal with all that depth at Juventus. He would see himself getting moved to a couple of uh, Serie A bad teams, which is the second division. In his age 20 season, he would find himself playing for Grosseto in Siena. Uh, in his 16 games, he played for Grosseto. He finished with a goal, and he also finished with a goal in his two games for Siena. Uh, in a season where, of course, he was still competing to jump up to that next level. His second season on loan would end up being his age 21 season in the in his last season playing in the Serie B. In his age 21 season in 2011-2012, he would start 36 of the 37 matches he played for a Pescara team that would go on to finish with the best record in Serie B as they would... Uh, eventually get promoted right back up to Serie A. In the 37 matchups he played in the second division of Italy, uh, Ciro Immobile would finish with 28 goals and five assists, the first time that he would even show anything close to that goal-scoring production uh, in a season as he was doing so for an Italian side that would earn their way back up. And of course, while competing at that level for this Serie B team, um, another Serie A team would take uh, would take a chance on him and once Genoa would take a chance on him in 2012 he would no longer be playing in the city a bay his first season in Serie A uh, as a full-time starter would be his age 22 season in 2012-2013. In that season, he would start 21 of the 33 games that he played, 
for a Genoa FC team that would finish with the 17th best record in the Serie A. They would even make it to the third round of the Italian Cup. Um, within the season itself, uh, Ciro Immobile would finish with five goals and three assists, the most goals that he would put up in an Italian season. Um, but of course, following that season, he would uh, he would establish himself as one of the better young players, and he would and a team in Turin, actually the Torino Football Club, would take in they would take a chance on him buying him for about two or almost three million euro um in his lone season playing in or his very first season playing in torino in his age 23 season in 2013 2014 and in his lone season while playing officially for torino he will go on to start 29 of the 33 cda games he played in a season where torino would finish with the seventh best record in cda um taking a look at how they finished seventh that would, that would be the highest finish that they have actually had in cda actually in a very long time um, so, and of course, that'll be attributed to Chido Immobile's lone season there. He would go on to lead the team in scoring as he had 22 goals and three assists. This would be the very first time he scored at least 20 goals in Serie A at the very top level of Italy, doing this all in his age 23 season. Um, and in addition to what he was doing on the field there, he even added a goal in, his, in their Copa Italia run. Um, he would establish himself as one of the better young uh, players in Italy and following that season, despite not playing for a big club he would go on to make the italian national team that would compete at the 2014 world cup which is the last uh, world cup that italy had played in they wouldn't even make it out of the group stage as they would end up beating england in their matchup but they would end up losing to costa rica and uruguay in their other group stage matchups so that would result in italy's uh, exit in the only world cup that chido immobile had competed in after his World Cup stint, Chido Immobile, of course, would be purchased by Borussia Dortmund, the German side. Um, he would go and be, it would play under Borussia Dortmund for two seasons, the first of which he would actually play for Borussia Dortmund. In his lone season in Germany, in his age 24 season in 2014 2015, he would start nine of the 24 games he played in a season in which Dortmund would go on to finish with the seventh best record in the Bundesliga. That would actually be the lowest finish that Dortmund had had as a team since 2008. Um, however, they would go on to win the German Super Cup for the year. Uh, this year, they would go on to beat Bayern. This would be the second year in a row in which they had done so. This would be the year in which Obama Yang was their leading scorer, the first year of which. Uh, not to mention that they would go on to be the runners-up in the Champions League Pokal. They would end up losing in the final to Wolfsburg, as Obama Yang would be the only player to score there. That would be when Kevin De Bruyne was on Wolfsburg. Um, but in Germany, he was able to take a couple of trophies, of course, for himself. The only trophy really of, of note being the Super Cup trophy. Following his lone season in Germany, uh, he would go on to play for Sevilla as he was loaned to Sevilla. Uh, he would go on to play half of his two, age 25 season in 2015 for Torino, the team where he would he had initially won the Serie A Golden Boot, and he would play half of that season in Sevilla. He played 14 games in Torino, and he played eight games in Sevilla, finishing with seven goals total as he will go on to finish his 2015-16 season playing with, uh, or I guess playing with Sevilla, uh, as he ended up making his last trip out to Torino to get his last couple of games played. That situation was a little bit sticky, but however, following his age 25 season that year, and following his very first Champions League stint, he will go on to compete with Italy in the 2016 Euros. And once they made the Euros, they would actually make it through the group stage this time, beating Belgium and Sweden, following sh falling short to Republic of Ireland. In the round of 16, um, Italy would end up beating Spain 2 to nothing before they ended up losing to Germany in the quarterfinal round, um, as Portugal ended up winning this... 2016 Euro tournament anyway. Following that tournament, uh, Chido Immobile would 
find himself as a member of the Lazio Football Club, where he has really been a member uh, and he's been the starting striker really ever since. His very first season with Lazio would be his age 26 season in 2016-2017. In his age 26 season, he would start 35 of the 36 matchups he would play um, for a Lazio team that would end up with the fifth best record in Italy. They would fail to qualify for Champions League. Even though they missed that trophy, they, the closest they would get to a title would be the Coppa Italia. Once they made it all the way to the finals, they would end up losing two to nothing to Juventus as Juventus took home the title this year. However, in 2016-2017, Cheeto would come very close to claiming the golden boot for himself as his 23 goals were actually more goals than he had scored the first time he had gone on to win the Italian Golden Boots. Um, but following that 2016-17 season, he was regarded as one of the better young scorers in Italy, where he started to jump into that scoring at will uh, level of offensive production. His second season at Lazio would be his age 27 season in 2017-18. In the CDA, he would start all 33 of the matchups he played in a season where Lazio would finish with the fifth best record in the CDA yet again. Um, they would finish as semifinalists in the Coppa Italia this year as they ended up losing to Milan. Um, Milan would be the team that eventually knocked them out. In the Coppa Italia, he was even able to add a couple of goals. In this CDA season, he would finish with 29 goals and six assists, which at that point was a career high for him for goals and assists. Um, the His 2018 season would be the second year in his career in which he would finish with the most goals in Serie A. To even do it that many times in itself, to even do it more than once is an incredible feat. Uh, not to mention that in Serie A, he would go on to help, uh, or at least with Lazio, he would help them make it all the way to the Europa League quarterfinals. Um, once they made it to the quarterfinal round, they would end up losing to Red Bull Salzburg. RB Salzburg ended up losing in the semifinals to Marseille, who ended up losing in the finals to Atletico Madrid. But even in that run itself, uh, Chido Immobile was able to add his eight goals in Europa League, which actually led Europa League. That's the only time he would lead Europa League in scoring goals that year uh, and then like i said 2017-18 just to be able to lead europa league and italy in goals would be amazing um just the unfortunate thing for him would just be that italy would not be competing in the world cup in 2018 so of course that was an open summer but this would transition into cheeto's third season with lazio in his age 28 season in 2018-19 he would go on to start 31 of the 36 matches he played for a lazio team that finished eighth in CDA, the lowest finish they had since he had been there. Even to this date, they have not finished lower than eighth. Um, and in that season, he would go on to finish with 15 goals and six assists, which would be the least amount of goals he had scored at Lazio. Um, but of course, or uh, and but that would still be his third straight season of, of, of finishing with a double digit amount of goals in a season. The fourth Serie A season in which he was able to do so. And his six assists were tied with 2017-18 for the most assists he had had in a season up until then. Um, in addition to losing out with that, uh, and not to mention that they had won the Supercoppa Italiano in 2017-18, so not to mention that Chido Immobile was able to take home a trophy for that, as they beat Juventus in the final 3-2. to two. That was the first trophy, but in this 2018-19 season, they would go all the way to the Coppa Italia final where they would beat Atalanta 2 to nothing. This would be the very first time that Cheeto Immobile had won the Coppa America or the Coppa Italia final and this just after winning the Super Cup of Italia for the very first time in his career. 
Uh, he would add three goals and two assists in that Coppa Italia run. Uh, not to mention that Lazio would also compete in the Europa League again. Uh, this year, they would lose in the round of 32 as the team that would eventually knock them out of contention uh, would eventually be Sevilla. Sevilla would lose in the very next round in the round of 16 to Slavia Prague from the Czech Republic. However, Cheeto would add four assists in the those five Europa League matchups um, to get a sense that he was still one of the best strikers in all of Europe. And this time he was able to take home the Coppa Italia, the Italian Cup. Um, following that season, which was his third season there, he would return for his fourth season with, uh, with Lazio. And in his fourth season there, in his age 29 season in 2019-20, a season that we all remember was a season that was delayed at its very end because of COVID. He would go on to start 36 of the 37 matchups he played for a Lazio team that finished fourth in Serie A, the highest finish that they would have since he had been there. Um, taking a look at how he fared, especially with, within uh, the Serie A, he would go on to finish with the golden boot in the Serie A. Uh, and in Europe for that matter, as he had 36 total goals in Italy alongside his nine assists. His 45 total scoring plays in 37 games is the highest level of production that he's ever been able to put together, especially in a long Serie A uh, season. Um, in addition to those 30 goals, he would go on to add one goal in the two uh, Coppa Italia matchups he played. Um, that would see Lazio lose in the quarterfinals to Napoli. Um, not to mention also in 2019-20, uh, he would go on to play in the Supercoppa Italia. He wouldn't score a goal, but Lazio would end up beating Juventus in the final 3-1. to one. This would be the second time in a three-year stretch in which Lazio would win the Supercoppa Italia, which is a very tough thing to do. Um, not to mention that in 2019-20, he or that is the most recent time that he has been given the golden boot in the Serie A, making it the third time in a seven-year stretch in which he has done so. He has not let the Serie A in goal since 2020. Um, and also, he was able to, of course, you know, add two goals in a Europa League stretch that would eventually see, uh, that would see, Lazio lose in the group stage round. However, following this season, this would lead into Chido Immobile's age 30 season because they had to delay the Euro tournament by a year. And in his age 30 season with Lazio, which would be his fifth season there in 2020-2021, he would start 34 of the 35 Serie A games in a season where Lazio would finish sixth in, La or in Serie A. Um, they would go on to lose in the quarterfinals of Copa, of Copa Italia. But first looking in that season itself, he would finish with 20 goals and six assists. Being at the fourth year in a five-year span, and this would be the fifth Serie A season that he would go on to finish with at least 20 goals. Um, this season, he's very close, but he, but he still has yet to get 20 goals uh, to match what he had done last year. It's very possible that he does so in the very next game. This would be the fourth season in a row he's had at least six assists in the Serie A of course um, as a striker um, adding the goal scoring production that he really can from that position uh, he went on to play one Coppa Italia matchup in a series that would see them lose in the quarterfinals. Also, Lazio will go all the way to the round of 16 in Champions League. Uh, Chido Immobile will go on to play five of those matchups as he finished with five goals and an assist. As Lazio would see themselves lose to Bayern Munich in the round of 16. As Bayern Munich would lose in the quarterfinals to PSG. PSG would lose in the semifinals to Man City. And Man City would lose in the finals to uh, Chelsea to get a sense of how that tournament, of course, would end. Um, and then following that season, he would go on to compete with Italy at the Euro Championships for the 2021 summer. They were scheduled for 2020, but they were, of course, delayed 
because of the coronavirus. In the 2020 Euros, Cheeto Immobile would help Italy beat Turkey and Switzerland in their first two group stage matchups as he scored Italy's second goal in the first matchup and he would go on to score a goal for them as they beat Switzerland. Uh, Italy would also beat Wales to make it through the group stage. In the round of 16, Italy would beat Austria 2-1 on ex- in extra time. In the quarterfinals, Italy would be Belgium two to one. In the fi- or in the semifinals, Italy would beat Spain uh, four to two on penalties before beating England three to two on penalties once they made it to the final. Cheeto Immobile, of course, with two goals in the group stage was a big part in Euro in Italy even making it to the finals and winning the Euros. This would be the first time that Italy had won the Euros in actually quite a long time since 1968 um the second time that they had won the title as a country um but that would be how they finished and Cheeto Immobile was a big part of that following that summer this would lead us into Cheeto's sixth current current season with the Lazio club so far he started all 21 of the games he's played for a Lazio club that is sitting sixth in Serie A at the moment um, right now they are sitting two points below fifth place at Atlanta they are sitting five points below fourth place Juventus as they sit outside of a Champions League spot within Serie A itself um, Cheeto Immobile has 19 goals and he has two assists. One goal would be yet another season. It would be his one goal would make it his sixth season in the City AA in which he's had at least 20 goals scored. Um, it's very, it looks as though he's leading or he's he could um, finish at the very top of the City AA in goals if things go his way as well. It will be the fourth time in which he's done so. But I think once it comes down to it, what like, in terms of what he exemplifies for Italian soccer, I just think that the consistency that he continues to display is a big part of the reason why Lazio is competing at the level that they're competing. Um, and of course, it just leads us to where we are now. Now, as Cheeto is currently turning 32, I don't think he's shown any signs of slowing down or that he's no longer one of the best players in Italy, as I believe this season he is definitely putting himself amongst the best in his country. But with that said, I do think that if you ever get a chance to watch Cheeto Immobile, you definitely should before he's no longer playing. He's currently wearing number 17 for Lazio, and I do not know exactly what number he wears for Italy, um, but I can't wait to see what he does within this, within this next calendar year. Once all of today's exhibitions, matchups, and, done, and, and Olympic events are done, I'm going to come back tomorrow on Monday, February 21st for another episode of The Elite. And hopefully by this time next year, um, I will have a lot more to cover as it comes to Cheeto Immobile, the starting striker for Italy. And with that said, I want to thank everyone for listening. I hope all is well. And I will catch you with another episode of The Elite immediately after this as Justin Verlander has a birthday as well. Thanks for listening. I also want to thank the pro football reference websites the footy stats transfer marked and the wikipedia sites for all the facts and figures because without them i wouldn't be able to do this as well thanks for listening i hope all is well and i'll catch you with more tomorrow peace out